Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic shape and fill it in. And I'm just going to color it in. Now I'm going to go up to my layers menu and duplicate that layer. To duplicate it, I'm going to slide it to the left and tap duplicate. Now I have two copies of that layer. I want to be on the bottom copy. Now we need to turn that bottom copy to black. To do that, I'm going to use my effects menu. Looks like a magic wand in the top left. I'm going to choose U, saturation, and brightness. Now I'm using Procreate 5X, which allows you to apply the effects with your pencil to specific areas of your drawing or to a whole layer. In this case, we're going to do it to the whole layer. So now I have options on the bottom of my screen. I'm going to drag brightness all the way to the left to where it says none. If you want your shadow to be more of a um, grayer looking shadow, you can leave it a little bit to the right, but I'm going all the way to the left. And what that does is it turns that entire layer to black. So now I'm going to take the selection tool, which is the arrow on the top left. That will select my entire layer and I'm going to drag it out to make it look like a shadow. I'm dragging mine to the bottom right. You can go any direction you want. You can drag it further. If you want to have a further distance between the shadow and the object, you can go other spots. I'm just going to go slightly to the right and down. I'm going to tap the arrow to deselect it. And now that would be a crisp looking drop shadow. If you wanted to have a little fuzzy edge to make it a little more realistic, going to go back to that magic wand and the effects. I'm going to choose Gaussian Blur. And just like before, I'm doing this to the entire layer. And I'm going to blur the layer by either dragging my pencil or my finger to the right on the screen. And as you can see, that layer is blurring and giving it more of a realistic shadow look. The more I blur it, the fuzzier it gets. The less I blur it, the more um, intensity it will have. So you need to find where you like it. I'm just going to leave it right there. And now I have a drop shadow for that shape. You can use drop shadows anywhere in your images using this technique. I hope you liked it. Um, subscribe and ring that bell and see you next time.